welcome to morning prayers for Friday, March 10th, right, March 12th. Let's prepare ourselves. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from God who made heaven and earth. From Psalm 121 verses one and two. Let's be still and aware of the presence of the holy within and all around. In the beginning, O oh God, when the firm earth emerged from the waters of life, you saw that it was good. The fertile ground was moist, the seed was strong, and earth's profusion of color and scent was born. Awaken my senses this day to the goodness that still stems from Eden. Awaken my senses to the goodness that can still spring forth in me and in all that has life. Amen. If you hear any yowling, it's because we're babysitting our grand cat, Simon, and he is missing his family this morning. And from our Lenten devotion, it's um, holy sacrifice, holy rest. And she quotes the 28th verse of Leviticus 23. And you shall do no work during that entire day, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement on your behalf before the Lord your God. The Day of Atonement, known as Yom Kippur, is the holiest day of the year for the Jewish people. During the time of the temple, it was the only day when priests were allowed to enter the Holy of Holies to intercede on behalf of the people. On this day, the priests would slaughter an animal to atone or compensate for the sins of the people. On this holy day, the people of Israel were instructed to deny themselves and to consecrate their bodies. They were to seek the Lord through prayer and fasting, rending their hearts in solemn repentance. Yet in the midst of all this, they were called to do no work. On the day of atonement, they were to abide by the Sabbath, lest they be cut off from the community. For this reason, the Day of Atonement is also known as the Sabbath of Sabbaths. It underscores the idea that the divine work of atonement does not need human activity. Otherwise stated, there is nothing we can do to help God compensate for our sins. Only God can atone for our sins. Therefore, <clears throat> Christ can be the sacrifice. Jesus sacrificed for our sins on the cross once and for all. This means there's nothing we can do to earn forgiveness or to work for grace. We are simply called to obedience through surrender and rest as we consider the sacrifice of Christ. By resting, we honor the fact that nothing we can do would fix human brokenness. What would it look like for you to rest in recognition of Christ's sacrifice? The call to honor God's atonement is also the call to Sabbath rest. In this time of holy consecration, let us cease from striving and rest in knowing that Jesus loves us. God, we reverence the sacrifice of your son and we recognize our sin 
Give us strength to rest and keep us from trying to work for our own righteousness. Amen. Good morning, Terry, and good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Rick. And I'm reading from Psalm 93 this morning. God is king, robed in ruling. God is robed and surging with strength. And yes, the world is firm, immovable. Your throne ever firm. You're eternal. Sea storms are up, God. Sea storms wild and roaring. Sea storms with thunderous breakers. Stronger than wild sea storms. Mightier than sea storm breakers. Mighty God rules from high heaven. What you say goes, it always has. Beauty and holy mark your palace rule. God to the very end of time. And the poem written in response is titled Lolita. It's... Um, Lolita Lebron is an icon of the Puerto Rican independence movement. Lolita is what I call the lake and water. The author, the poet, quotes the third verse. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. I call the waters Lolita. They are magnificent. Their colors reflect the sky. Their movement reveals joy, sometimes terror. Their sounds speak both of life and death. Lolita shares with me the rhythm of life. Their ebbs and flows soothe me. I am astounded by their abundance their power reminds me to take heed of my place, our connection. They need love and demand protection. They cannot be contained and are not for sale. Lolita is not mine. They are not yours. Lolita belongs to creation. Lolita belongs to God. They are beloved. And that's Lolita by Marilyn Pagan. So let's reflect on our Lenten devotion, our psalm and poem. The world is alive with your goodness, O God. It grows green from the ground and ripens into the roundness of fruit. Its taste and its touch enliven my body and stir my soul. Generously given, profusely displayed, your graces of goodness pour forth from the earth. As I have received, so free me to give. As I have been granted, so may I give. Let's pray for the coming day and for the life of the world. I have tasted the fruit of the earth, O God. I have seen autumn trees hang heavily with heaven's gifts. I have known people pregnant with your spirit of generosity. Let these be guides to me this day. And may Mary, who knew her womb filled with your goodness, teach me the wisdom that is born amidst pain. May I know that deeper than any fallowness in me, is a seed planted in the womb of my soul. May I know that greater than any barrenness in the world is a harvest to be justly shared. Amen. It's Friday. We are entering the weekend. May you find a way to practice Sabbath 
this weekend, whether it starts today or tomorrow or Sunday. May it restore you and give you peace. Have a blessed day and I'll see you on Monday.